it. That's scary. Wait. So this is one of like our four thumbnail rooms. We're in our second. Why do you need four thumbnail rooms? What the fuck? In studio. After this is like Darth Jar Jar all over again. I. In the Bible Belt. We converted it by taking all the pews out. Just converted <laughs> it into a studio. And so that's where we started filming. But the problem is it's not that big. So eventually we had to move as our videos got bigger over to a, a new studio we built. And so we just converted this into the thumbnail place. And he converted a church into a thumbnail place. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's scary, wait. So this is one of like our four thumbnail rooms. We're in our second. Why do you need four thumbnail rooms? What the fuck? In studio. After this is like Darth Jar Jar all over again. I, I can't believe it. This is Darth Jar Jar again. Christian, I don't know any of this. And it seemed like she was looking for me to sort of offer her, like, uh, comfort or validation to be like, nah, that's... Could someone actually go... So, listen, I I only know uh, the Old Testament, okay? I never actually read the DLC, which is the New Testament. I never got into that. So, if can, someone needs to actually sit down, get an entire freaking back-to-back um, -back where you show, like, Bible verse, clip of Mr. Beast. Bible verse, clip of Mr. Beast. Just an actual Mr. Beast Antichrist video. That would be that would fucking pop off. That would get millions of views. Ask Wendigoon. Wendigoon doesn't want to get into this drama. All right, bet. I mean, I feel almost qualified for it. I've been studying Revelations for over nine years now, so it should be a piece of cake, right? Okay, I'm not gonna get this video out fast enough, so. Y'all are just gonna have to do a subpar editing and a little cutesy little audio pieces. I'm sorry. Bye. Hey all! I know I was going away from anything Christian in my videos, but screw it! And you know what? I'm removing my filter this video, so fuck! <laughs> hey guys, sorry about that. Someone needs to relearn her manners. Anyways, welcome back to another video. Not that I will ever fix my dreadful upload schedule, God forbid. Oh, you didn't like that? Well, you're about to get even more grumbly than a pregnant woman that was given peaches but wanted a pear. Let's dive bomb right in. Enjoy the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we are live in five, four, three, two. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah. Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Songs of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Limitations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, John, Demas, Obadiah, Joe, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Rebecca, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zachary, and the last one, Malachi. <sighs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts to the letters to the Romans, first and second Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, first and second Thessalonians. First and second Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, and the book of James. First and second Peter.
First and second, third John, Jude and Revelation. I can do it even faster! Wanna see? <gasps> Not now, you little Shirley Temple! Now where was I? Ah, yes. That's the gist of it all. What? You didn't think I was going to bore you with God is all-powerful, one-sided explanation that was four hours long, did you? He literally says in the Bible that he is not all good. I know, I know. It's a long shot to believe that they... <sighs> added in a few words here and there to make him all sound all good, right? Or that the Bible was edited so much that it's probably not even what it truly was said anymore. It's probably just like a story that's as real as Lord of the Rings is. Yes, Jesus probably did exist, but why is there evidence of the Messiah in Japan and in Israel at the same time period? A lot doesn't add up and doesn't make sense. So forgive my bit of speculation and let's move on to the true meat and potatoes of this video's era. The Antichrist. Now, in order to understand the full ordeal of Revelations, I need to fully flesh out and lay everything down on the table here and now about the seals, the trumpets, and the angels of plague and their bowls of wrath. So bear with me. This will be a long bit of drivel, but it is important to know if you want to get into the mindset of an ethereal being that is trying to feed poor old frail St. John through a feeding tube dripper lest the poor man go mad with insanity. I mean it when I say this explanation will literally sound like I should be in an insane asylum and hospitalized because I will sound crazy. I mean, really, who finds research fun? Sounds crazy to me. But that's my pastime and I've always found joy in studying the inside outs of revelations and finding connections with the real world. So put away your salt shakers and worse than Hershey's chocolate in the diabetes department festivals and prepare yourself to dive into this explanation with me. Okay, so there are three beasts. There's a dragon that attacks a woman who is giving birth and is like rescued and everything. There's the beast from the sea who is supposedly the Antichrist and the one who is given all the power and everything. And there's also another beast that actually rises from the earth. So the dragon... Huh, let me... Let me re-get to his description. So it just says red dragon. Yes, a sign appeared in heaven. So the dragon comes from above. A great fiery red dragon having seven horns. Sorry, sorry, having seven heads, ten horns, and seven diadems on his head. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them down on earth, meteor showers. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. Seven heads, ten horns, seven diadems. So whoever it is, if it was a person, that would be a company. That could be Elon Musk. Um, because the dragon collects all the hatred. The dragon collects all the hatred, the others don't. So that the others don't, so the others can do what they can to gain favor. The beast from the sea, the beast has rises from the ocean, having seven heads, ten horns, and on his head ten crowns, and on his head a blasphemous mate. He was like a leopard, feet of the bear, mouth like a lion, dragon, so, like a leopard, so he's really strong, feet like the feet of a bear, every, all his words have meaning, basically, and mouth of a lion, he's trusted. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, his great authority. So the dragon basically is like, okay, I've taken all the hatred, you take the authority. And this is who I think Trump is. And the world marveled and followed him. He was mortally wounded, his deadly wound was healed. All it takes is one medical document fra fraudulated to make the shot to Trump's head a mortal wound, especially with all the hiding. All they have to do is release one paper saying otherwise. <laughs> and then the beast from the earth. Then I saw another beast coming out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb, spoke like a dragon. Exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So, two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon. So, whatever this look like a lamb, speak like a dragon person is, 
They are highly trusted. Probably more than the first beast. And this is who I think Mr. Beast is. He performs great signs so that even... He even makes fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men and deceives those who dwell on earth by signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast telling those who dwell on earth during an image of the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. Mr. Beast makes a lot of merch, just saying. But, um... The problem is... He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast and the image of the beast could both speak. So, this one could be Elon Musk instead because this is the one that does the mark of the beast and makes it to where no one can buy or sell without the mark, which is the AI chip that I believe is going on. And the dragon... Um... I think the dragon would be Mr. Beast in that case. I don't think he'd be the actual beast from the sea. He did say he was going to run for presidency, though, so that could change things. But as of right now, I think these three beings stand for Musk, Trump, and Mr. Beast. If Mr. Beast is related at all. I'm still a bit iffy on who the dragon actually is. Okay. If you would like to skip this part, I will put the video segment at the beginning of this. I am going to be reading the entirety of Revelations and then segueing into the seal explanation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place, and he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, to all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads, and those who hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those which are written in it, for the time is near. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually going to read all of that. You can go read the doohiggy. I have studied this extensively. I think I'm okay to like skip most of it. The first seal is the conqueror. Now I saw when the lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And then I look and looked and behold a white horse he who sat on it had a bow and a crown was given to him and he went out conquering and to conquer the second seal conflict on earth when he opened the second seal i heard the second living creature say come and see another horse fiery red ran out it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth and that people should kill one another and there was given a great sword third seal scarcity scarcity on earth when he opened the third seal i heard the living creature say come and see so i looked and behold a black horse and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand and i heard the voice amidst of the four living creatures say a quart of wheat for a denarius three quarts of barley for a denarius do not harm the oil and the wine the fourth seal the dev the widespread death on earth when he opened the fourth seal i heard the voice of the four living creatures say come and see so i looked and behold a pale horse and the name of who sat on it was death and hades followed with him and power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with the sword with hunger with death and by the beasts of the earth the fifth seal the cry of martyrs when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried out with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. The sixth seal cosmic disturbances i looked when he opened the sixth seal and behold there was an earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became like blood and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up and every mountain and island was moved out of its place and the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave, every free man hid themselves in caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. 
for the great day of his wrath has come who is able to stand the sealed of Israel after I saw saw all these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth on the sea or any tree then I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried out with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and sea saying do not harm the earth the sea or the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads and I heard the number of those who were sealed one hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of children of Israel were sealed of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tri tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Nephalti, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Simon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. And the tribe of Joseph, of 12,000 were sealed of the tribe of Benjamin 12,000 were sealed a multitude from the great tribulation after these things I looked and behold a great multitude which no one could number of all nations tribes peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the lamb clothed with bright white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice saying salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the lamb all the angels stood around the throne and the elders of the four living creatures and fell on their faces before the throne worshiped God saying blessed amen to the glory of the wisdom thanksgiving honor power and might be our god forever and ever amen then one of the elders answered saying to me who are these arrayed in white robes and where did they come from and i said to him sir you know so he said to me these are the ones who came from the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb therefore they are before the throne of god and serve him day and night in his temple and he who sits on the throne will dwell among them they shall neither hunger in any more, nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them living, to living fountains of waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The seventh seal, prelude to the seventh trumpets. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a gold censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. The angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there was noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels, who had seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound the first angel sounded and hail and fire followed mingled with blood and they were thrown to the earth and the third of the trees were burned up and all green grass was burned up the second trumpet the seas struck then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships destroyed. Third trumpet, the waters struck. Then the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on the third of the rivers and springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. The fourth trumpet, the heavens struck. The fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon and a third of the stars, so that the third of them were darkened. A third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. And I looked, and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because the remaining blast of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. The fifth trumpet, the locust from the bottomless pit. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I star saw a star falling from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose out of the pit like a smoke of the great furnace. 
so the sun and air were darkened because of that smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth, and to them were given power, such as scorpions of the earth have power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days men will seek death, and they will not find it. They will desire to die, and death will flee from them. The shape of the locust was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of man. They had hair like a woman's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like the breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like that of chariots, with many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions, and stings in their tails. Their power was to hurt men five months, and they had as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, who name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek he has the name Empoleon. One woe is past. Behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. The sixth trumpet, the angel from the Euphrates. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound to the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had prepared for the hour and the day, the month, the year, were released to kill a third of mankind. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was two hundred million. I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses and visions, and those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinthia blue, and sulfur yellow, and the heads of the horses were like heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. By these three plagues a third of mankind was killed, by the fire, the smoke, and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and their tails, for their tails are like serpents having heads, and with them they will do harm. But the rest of mankind, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders or sorceries or their sexual immorality or their thefts. The Mighty Angel with the Little Book I saw still another mighty angel coming down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head, and his face like pillars of sun, and his feet pillars of fire. He had a little book open his, in his hand, and he set his right foot on the sea, his left foot on the land, and cried out with a loud, loud voice as when a lion roars. When he cried out, seven thunders uttered their voices. Now when the seven thunders uttered their voices, I was about to write. But I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Seal up the things which the seven thunders uttered. Do not write them. The angel whom I saw standing in the sea and on the land raised his hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, the earth things that, and things that are in it, the sea and the things that are in it, that there should be no delay any longer. But in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, the mystery of God would be finished, as he declared to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice which I heard from heaven spoke to me again, and said, Go take the little book, which is open in the hands of the angel who stands on the sea and the earth. So I went to the angel and told him, Give me the little book. And he said to me, Take it and eat it. It will make your stomach bitter, but it will be as sweet as honey in your mouth. Then I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it. It was as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach became bitter. And he said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. Two witnesses. Then I was given a reeded. Then I was given a reed, like a measuring rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, the altar, and those who worship there. But leave out the court, which is outside the temple, and do not measure it, for it has, it has been given to the Gentiles. And they will tread the holy city underfoot for forty-two months. And I will give my power to two witnesses, and they will prophesy one thousand two hundred and sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. 
These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of earth. And if any one wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouths and devours their enemies. And if any one wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut the heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. And they have the power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. The witness is killed. When they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the peoples, tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their bodies to be put into graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them. Make merry and send gifts to one another, because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. The witness is resurrected. Now after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet. And great fear fell on those who saw them, and they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they ascended to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies saw them. In the same hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. In the earthquake seven thousand people were killed, and the rest were afraid, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past. Behold, the third woe is coming quickly. The seventh trumpet the kingdom proclaimed. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-fourth elders who sat before God on their thrones fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come. Because you have taken your great power and reigned, the nations were angry, and your wrath has come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that you should reward your servants, the prophets, and the saints, and those who fear your name, small and great, and should destroy those who destroy the earth. Then the temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant was seen in his temple, and there was lightning, noises, thunderings, an earthquake, and great hail. Just a quick warning, because the seventh trumpet is the Antichrist. The woman, the child, and the dragon. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great fiery red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them down onto earth. And then the dragon sh stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God in his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, that they should feed her there 1,260 days. Satan thrown out of heaven, and a war book broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called Devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world, he was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation, strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God day and night, has been cast down. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, that they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, 
and the you who dwell within them. Woe to the inhabitants of earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, for he knows he has short time. Now when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness to a place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the present of the serpent. So the pres serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman and the earth opened his mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of its mouth. And the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring who kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. The Beast from the Sea then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, and on his head a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard. Its feet were like the feet of a bear, and its mouth the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, and great authority. And I saw one of its heads, as if it had been mortally wounded, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. So they worshipped the dragon who gave authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And he was given a mouth speaking of great things and blasphemies, and he was given authority to continue for forty-two months. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and overcome them. And authority was given to him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in its presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, and that image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all, both small and rich, great and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man his number is six 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 now just to preface this there are several other pieces in this the lamb and the hundred forty four thousand the proclamations of the three angels the reaping of the earth's harvest reaping the grapes of wrath i'm going to do those with the bowls of judgment not here Now we are on to the bowls and the rest of the trumpet stuff that I did not. Now we are on to the bowls 
and the rest of the trumpet stuff that I hadn't gotten into yet. The lamb and the 144,000. Then I looked, and behold, a lamb standing on Mount Zion, with him 144,000, having his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the voice of many waters, and like the voice of loud thunder. And I heard the sound of harpists playing on their harps. They sang as if it were a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders, and no one could learn that song except the 144,000, who were redeemed from the earth. These are the ones who are not def defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he grow goes. These were redeemed from among men, being first fruits to God and this to the Lamb. And in their mouths they found no deceit, because they were without fault before God. The Proclamations of Three Angels Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to the, to preach to those who dwell on earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and springs of water. Another angel followed, saying, Babylon is fallen, and is fallen, that great city, because she has made all the nations drink of the wine of wrath of her fornication. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any worships the beast in his image, and receives his mark on their forehead or on their hand, he himself shall also drink the wine of the wrath, the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out at full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. They have no rest, day or night, who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who kept the commandments of God and faith of Jesus. Then I heard the voice of heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are those who die, those, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Reaping the earth's harvest. Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and on the cloud sat the one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown and hand a sharp sickle. Another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice. To him who sat on the cloud, thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle upon the earth and the earth was reaped, reaping the grapes of wrath. Then another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, who had power over fire, and he cried with a loud cry to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. So the angel thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trampled outside the city, and blood came out of the winepress up to horses' bridles for 1,600 furlongs. Prelude to the Bowl of Judgments then I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven plagues, for in them the wrath of God is complete. And I saw something, like a sea of glass mingled with fire, and those who have victory over the beast, over his image, over his mark, and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, having harps of God. They sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Lamb, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God Almighty, just, just and true are your ways, O King of saints. Who shall not fear you, O Lord, you, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come worship before you. Your judgments have been manifested. After all these things I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of testimony in heaven was opened, and out of the temple came the seven angels. 
having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and having their chests girded with gold bands. Then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven bowls filled with the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one was able to enter the temp temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go, pour out the bowls of wrath, of the wrath of God onto the earth. The first bowl, loathsome sores. So the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth, and the foul and loathsome sore came upon all the men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. Second bowl, the sea turned to blood. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became blood as of a dead man. Every living creature in the sea died. Third bowl, waters turned to blood. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of water saying, You are righteous, O Lord, the one who is, who was, and is to be, because you have judged these things. For they have shed the bloods of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink, for it is their just due. And I heard from the altar saying, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true, righteous, true and righteous are your judgments. Fourth bowl, men are scorched. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl of the, on the sun, and the power was given to him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat, and they blasphemed the name of the God who has the power of these plagues. They did not repent or give him glory. The fifth bowl, darkness and pain. When the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom became full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues because of the pain, they blasphemed God of heaven because their pain their pain and their sores did, and did not, repeat, did not repent of their deeds. The sixth bowl, Euphrates dried up. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates and its water was dried up so that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spears like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the, out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they have, are spirits of demons, performing signs which go out to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to do the battle of that great day with God the Almighty. Behold, I am coming as a thief. Blessed is he who watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And they gathered them together in a place called in Hebrew, Armageddon. The seventh bowl. Earth is utterly shaken. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came from the temple of heaven, from the throne, saying, It is done! And there were noises and thunders, thunderings and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such a mighty great earthquake as had not occurred since men were on the earth. Now the great city was divided into three, and the cities of nations fell, and great Babylon was remembered before God to give her the cup of wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Then every island fled away, and mountains were not found, and great hail from heaven fell upon men each hailstone about the weight of a talent. Men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, since that plague was ex exceedingly great. The Scarlet Woman and the Scarlet Beast. Then one of the seven angels, who had had the seven bowls, came and talked with me, saying to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters with whom the kings of the earth committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit to the wilderness, and I saw the woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which is full of names of blasphemy, having said seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, 
adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And on her forehead a name was written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and of the abominations of the earth. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I marveled in great amazement. The meaning of the woman and the beast. Before I continue, she is sitting on top of the Antichrist. The meaning of the woman and the beast. But the angel said to me, Why did you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. The beast you saw was and is not and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go to perdition. And those who dwell the earth will marvel whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they see the beast that was, is not, and yet is. That means he's lived several times. Here is the mind which is the wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. There are also seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, and the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must continue a short time. The beast that was and is not is himself also the eighth and is of the seven and is going to perdition. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as of yet, but they will receive authority for one hour as kings with the beast. These are of one mind. They will give their power and authority to the beast. They will make war with the lamb and the lamb will overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and kings of kings, and those who are with him are chosen, called chosen and faithful. The water which you see where the harlot sits are peoples, multitudes, and nations, and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw on the beast, these will hate the harlot, make her desolate, naked, eat her flesh, burn her fire, with fire. Mm. YouTube, don't get me for this. I'm sorry. It's what's written in the Bible. I'm sorry. For God has put it into their hearts to fulfill his purpose to be of one mind and to give their, their kingdom to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. And the woman who you saw is a great city. The woman is a city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So whatever's going to happen, the world's definitely going to be united at least, I guess. <sighs> The rest of Revelations goes over Babylon, rise and fall, and whatever the great city is once the world's united. <coughs> then, Max, then it goes to Satan <coughs> bound for a thousand years. So, that new world that we're gonna get when all the mountains are gone, the islands are gone, the sea is gone. We'll only get a thousand years of peace. And who knows how long a thousand years is in his time until another war happens again. And a warning. For I testify to to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add him to the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. I am coming quickly. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And that's the end of the book. Gosh darn it, you couldn't end it on 2222? You had to end it on 2221? My 22s! Okay. If y'all are wondering why I skipped out on some parts and wouldn't that put me in the curses or whatever that are going to be coming and bowls of wrath and yada yada, the Bible's already been changed. 
let's be honest, it's been changed over the years for so long. And they probably even didn't even, like, translate it right the first time. Let's be real here. Who translates book rights these books correctly these days? And translating from something... The Google Translate videos that, um, that one girl sings, I don't remember her name, but I'll put a picture of her up on the screen. And she, that, she, her channel should prove that it wasn't translated correctly, let's be honest here. So, that's the Bulls of Wrath. And don't be worried about me. Because I am not worried about myself. Okay, the first beast that I'm going to talk about is the ram with two horns. And this is where my theory begins. Elon Musk. He has two horns, is like a lamb, has the voice of a dragon. He is able to project and is able to get his voice out there, but he is not strong enough to hold the faith. He has to have someone to take that faith and give all the faith that he's trying to build up to another person. Elon Musk supports Trump. So just saying, that's where my theory is going. Elon Musk wants to merge human brains with AI. He has a company called Neuralink that, ha that has implanted a chip in its first human brain and is pushing a needlessly risky approach, some people say. He's... It's supposedly to help people with paralysis and uh, people like Noland Arbog, a 29-year-old who demonstrated in a live stream that he can now move a computer cursor using just the power of his mind after becoming the first patient to receive one. Uh, launched in 2016, the company revealed in 2019 it created flexible threads that can be implanted into a brain along with a sewing machine-like robot to do the implanting. The idea is that these threads will read signals from a paralyzed patient's brain and transmit it as data to an iPhone or computer. And so just the, basically... Let me go ahead and read the Bible first real quick, shall I? About this little, uh, heathen, uh, called the beast from the earth. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb, spoke like a dragon, exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence, causes the earth and those who dwell on it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs. He deceives those who dwell on earth by those signs. He was granted the power to give breath to the image of the beast, AI, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all both rich and small, great and poor, rich and free, and slave to receive a mark on the right hand or their foreheads, and no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or name of the beast or the number of his name. No one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast. If that's not a Neuralink chip, I don't know what is. If the mark of the beast is not a Neuralink chip that is either hooked up at your hand and connected to your brain or in your brain itself and like in your forehead basically, which is where the mark of the beast would be, I don't know where else, what else it could be. And that is literally the only paragraph on this beast. So that's literally all I have to go off of. He only has two horns, so he's not as strong as the first. He has a voice of a dragon so that he can speak like the first. And he can perform great signs. Elon Musk is a genius. He has performed many, many deeds. Some not so great as others, but they still got his name out there and he's a huge supporter of Trump who is 
who I'm thinking is the beast from the sea. And, gosh, it's all just so convoluted and connected. So, that's basically what I'm dealing with here is I can't get all my evidence yet because of the St. John not being able to handle more than these tiny descriptions. <laughs> and, oh gosh, so literally this is the only proof that I have on my claims. Trump is a widely loved person who already has been given authority and is about to get authority again. And is extremely good at what he does. He was able to talk to Kim Jong-un, who loves war, mind you, wants to conquer the world, and get him to want to be peaceful. That was only ringing alarm bells, alarm bells, and now he's been shot in the head. Which only takes a couple tweaks of a video, CGI'd, and... Oh, look at that. It's a mortal wound. Like, they hit it. And the media was trying to hide that Trump was even shot at first. And now they're letting it out? And now the, and in 2016, this company called Neuralink is started. And now they're doing brain chips so the people, and they're doing actual brain chips. Actual marks of beasts. Hello, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, it it sounds crazy. It it sounds completely insane. What I'm saying right now, I know that it's so dumb, but this is what it's come boiling down to. There isn't enough information. We weren't given enough information in the Bible, so how are we supposed to find out now? You know what I mean? And the only two that I can confirm are most likely Antichrist and the ram or one of his closest confidants are elon musk who's creating literal neural links that can connect to the brain and mr trump mr beast i have no clue i'm still looking for the red dragon but honestly it would make a whole lot of sense it really would make a ton of sense if he was connected to the other two in one way. And honestly, I think we're about to find out exactly who the Antichrist actually is. I'll keep you all posted if I have anything else to say about it. But that's the end of today's video. Alright guys, so we've gone through and I went way off of my original script and just some of the things on my script just were mind-boggling like for example one of the things that I wrote was now now before you get up in arms about this panic there's not much we can do about this anyway the world end of the world's predicted sure current throne is seated a god that doesn't like the world he created and wants a do-over so the antichrist is kind of isekai'd into this world to rule over it and I was just gonna do a whole thing. <sighs> I'm not able to follow a script right now because this is something that I've studied extensively. And we're coming to a head. And I do not have time to make that video because too much is going on. It's happening too fast. And I can't even make jokes about how my binoculars ran out of batteries so I can't use my future sight anymore because <laughs> this is too serious. It's real it's real life i don't have the time to make a complete video about it all i haven't done all the research about mr beast but it's plausible just from the bare bones that i've seen and it's gonna take a much much longer time to get this video out so this is what you get right now mr Knox. And that's it. Take this description as you will or don't. That's completely up to you. 
I've said my piece and I'm leaning towards a different angle that I'll get into at a later date. All I will say is that America's government under the president has 15 seats and if 10 of those gave up their power, there'd be little anyone could do to stop them. Trump just got shot. It doesn't take much to make an audience believe it was a mortal wound. Elon Musk is creating chips for people's brains to make buying things easier than ever. Who knows? Maybe he's a figure in the back lines. We'll only see him when he stands in front of the UN and is ready to take over and fully assault the world. My conclusion? I don't know who the Antichrist is, was, or could be. He could be something who... Someone who has lived many lives retains all of his memories of every time he comes back. Maybe he tested the water that Hitler in one life, led a terrorist group to sow discord in another. Maybe he is young right now, isn't fully prepped to get back on the stage. Well, soon we'll all know. Guys, live in the present. I'm not going to do my entire outro for this. Just live in the present. Start your families. Enjoy the world for what it is now. Because one of the seals, one of the bowls that I haven't gotten into yet, but I'm sure I will after this audio recording, and this is probably after, so y'all probably already heard about the bowls, is about the sea life dying. Every creature on this planet is going to die, except humans. Start your families. Enjoy the mountains. Enjoy the vast forest, the oceans, while you can. Because soon, there won't be any of those left. As this is the end of a rather long, bumpy ride, let me pull the stress and melting pot I just gave you all back into my mushy brain. Even if the world ends completely by tomorrow, just live your best today. I don't know why this god is treating us like toys he is done playing with, and I doubt anyone ever will. But even if he abandoned us and is back just to end this planet, I'm glad I was born here to upload and watch all of you. I love the passion, and my heart goes out to everyone going through the stress of learning someone they looked up to as a parental figure is evil. I should know. I was one of them. But please, don't sit on that pile of trash smelling it forever. If not for me, for your mental health. Heck, I heard Nuxanor did a video on Marvel lore. You should also go check out Jesse Mew for a new series for some lovely storytelling or watch the OG Minecraft diaries from Aphmau. Yeah, I'm biased. Who isn't these days? But I have you always win Minecraft series to thank for me starting this channel at all. I'll leave a few links for you all in the description below. So go check them out when you can. Get some smiles back on those faces. And Nux, if you're watching this, this mosh pit of a video. Hi, pleased to meet you. I'm Carolee JV. I made a, the whole video for this moment. Ha ha ha. I've been hoping a ton that I could say that one day. A skeleton. Peace out. And stay safe out there, all of you.